everybody, welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. We are out here on a beautiful sunny Southern California day. We've brought our van out and we thought we would do a solar video for you. I'm going to hook up our solar panels, talk about how to hook them up, what things should be hooked up first, and how the solar panels work, how long you can run them, things like that. So let's get started. It is a little bit breezy out here today, so hopefully it's not too windy for the video, but let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start pulling out my solar panels and get to putting them together. The solar panels have these nice stands on the back. You just pull them out and push down on these little brackets and they stand nicely. This is a 100 watt solar panel kit that we purchased from Harbor Freight. The brand is Thunderbolt. They are 100 watts total. So each panel, we have four panels here. Each panel is 25 watts each at its max capacity. The kit did come with other things, but we've actually purchased a different charge controller because we wanted one that was a little better and more powerful than the one that came with the kit. We also purchased separately a 35 amp battery and we also purchased a hub for the solar panels to connect into the hub in order to connect multiple packs of solar panels into the charge controller and then to charge the battery. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring out my battery, my charge controller, and my hub so I can start hooking up the solar panels so that they can start creating and gathering some energy into our battery so that we can use the battery for some electricity out here in the middle of nowhere. This is the charge controller that we purchased and it can handle 700 watts. As I indicated in the beginning of the video, the solar panels that we have that we're gonna be using today are a total of 100 watts at their peak performance. So this will handle all of the solar panels that we're going to be connecting perfectly fine. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect my charge controller now to the battery. Anytime you're dealing with a battery, you always wanna connect the positive first and the negative second. And then when you're disconnecting, you always wanna disconnect the negative first and disconnect the positive second. So that's what I'm going to do now. This is the solar panel hub that we purchased. The next thing I'm going to do is connect the charge controller. I'm going to connect this to the output and then I'm going to connect the solar panels at all of the other inputs. Now, this solar panel kit did come with a harness so that I could, if I wanted to, connect all of the solar panels to this one harness and only have one thing that I had to attach to my hub. But for today's video, I'm going to attach the solar panels directly into the hub and not use the harness. fluctuating uh, voltage on the charge controller it was fluctuating from 14 back down to 13 volts that is indicating that this battery is already pretty much fully charged so if the battery is at all drained it's going to continue charging it but once it reaches its full charge it's just going to let it sit here and not overcharge and ruin the battery <laughs> the next component to our solar is the inverter 
The inverter is used to convert DC, which is direct current at 12 volts, to AC, which is alternating current at 120 volts. This will allow me to connect my inverter to the battery, which will then allow me to run a TV, a DVD player, some other things that I may want to run inside my van when I don't have any other electrical source. The battery I'm using that I have outside of the van connected to the solar panels is a 420 watt battery. It is a 35 amp hour battery. You times that times 12 volts, which gives you 420 watts that you can use in an hour. However, for a battery, you only want to drain it approximately 50%. So that really only gives you 210 available watts that you can use in an hour. Now what I am using is less than 210 watts. I'm actually, when I'm running my inverter, it's approximately 10 watts. When I'm running my DVD player, it's approximately 10 watts. And when I'm running my television, it's approximately 80 watts. So to run all three items together is approximately 100 watts, which means with this battery fully charged, I have approximately two hours of time available that I can use with this battery. Bill and I will often go to campgrounds or somewhere around, we'll bring a charged battery that we've charged with our solar panels and we will wanna watch a movie. When we hook everything up to one battery at that rate that I explained the one we're using right now, we can watch about one movie because most movies run about two hours. If you don't have a fully charged battery and you want to watch a full movie, you are not going to make it through the movie. You're going to have to have another charged battery in order to change over somewhere along the way. If I had used this harness that I indicated that the harness came with the solar panels. So if I had chosen to hook the solar panels up directly to the harness and brought my hub, charge controller, and battery inside the van, this would allow my solar panels to be outside in the sun on this beautiful day. And I could have then connected this to the hub, connected everything else the same, but I could then be watching my TV and my DVD player using approximately 100 watts per hour. I then as well, with my solar panels out in the sun, and they are making 100 watts at peak performance, I, it would literally be a draw basically. Even though I'd be hooked up to my battery, I wouldn't be depleting it at all because as I'm using the battery, I'm also putting the solar panels into the battery because of the sun right now. And so that is what is so wonderful and amazing about solar panels when you're out camping. When we're at the campground, of course we have the option of hooking up to their electrical, to their AC, so that we can run things like our air conditioner and things that take more electricity than just what we have with this small set of solar panels. Now trust me, we have a lot more solar panels and a lot more batteries. We just brought these in as an example to show you what you could do with this kit and this amount of solar panels, one battery, and how to hook them all up. However, there are plenty of times that we don't want to go to the campground. We just want to go somewhere out in the open where we can take our van and we don't want to have to hook up to some sort of electricity and we want to make sure that we can watch a movie or do something along those lines using very little electricity and still not have to plug in somewhere. It is such a wonderful alternative and after the purchase of your solar panels, there is no other cost involved. It's essentially free because you are getting energy from the sun, which is providing you electricity at no cost. We do have enough room in our little storage cabinet that we purchased for our van to bring extra batteries. So we already have a charged battery in here. So I'm going to hook up the inverter to the battery. Remember, you always hook up the positive first and the negative second. So I'm gonna hook it up, plug it in, and I'm at least going to show you how I can turn on my DVD player and my TV. The first thing I'm going to do is connect my DVD player and my television into my inverter. 
So both items are plugged into the back. That's one of the great things about this cabinet that we bought is that it does have electrical outlets. And then I can just plug one item into my inverter. The next thing I'm going to do is connect my battery. Now, normally these items sit perfectly inside here, but we've pulled them out so that you can see them for the video. The next thing I'm going to do is connect my inverter to my battery. I'm going to connect the positive side first and then the negative. Sparky, sparky. Now that I have my battery connected to my inverter, I'm going to turn the inverter on, which is going to provide me power to my DVD player. And it turned on. Now my DVD player is Velcroed and to attached to this so that it doesn't slide around while we drive, but the power is on. And as you can see, the power has come on our television as well. So we have power running from our battery through the inverter to the DVD player and the television so that we can watch a movie. All right, everybody, we've hiked over to these awesome rocks away from our van. We're gonna end our video here. I hope you learned something. I have learned so much from Bill about solar panels and solar energy, and it is so exciting to learn something new, especially because when we're camping, I need to be able to understand how these things work. So I hope you learned something as well, and I hope you enjoyed our video. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!